We are here to inform the people that Maria Pearson is violating the Municipal Collection Act. The intent of the act is to ensure that we as a society have parameters in place to regulate the behaviors of candidates and electors. The act does ensure that no one has an unfair advantage and set rules that must be complied with. It is my belief that Maria Pearson, assistant politician, violated the act and for this reason I filed the information using section 23 of the Provincials of the Act which allows any person to come forward to the judicial system and present the facts and evidence of the committed offense. Our first appearance in court will be on October 20, 2010, room 300 at 1 p.m. of the Provincial Courthouse at 45 Main Street. I believe it's time to clean the house, and I do have a big room. Now I'm open to your questions. So what exactly are you accusing her of doing? I believe that Maria Pearson uh, contravenes uh, committed an offense by filing a document under Section 78 of the Municipal Election Act that is incorrect. Contrary to the Municipal Election Act itself in Section 92, section, Subsection 5, Subsection 8. What exactly? That exactly it is, and I will, I will give it to you. Section... Let's leave out the sections. Just tell us... What exactly, what, exactly what, 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 what are you saying she did? Okay, she filed a document under Section 78, which is your financial statement at the end of your campaign, that is incorrect. Where That's is what it, it is. Where is it incorrect? It's incorrect because when you look at the, at the different numbers here, you have to disclose how much are your revenues and how much are your expenses. Right. In this case, you have that her revenues were 8,578. Right. And her expenses were 9,688 and 40. So if you put it that she has no surplus or no deficit, zero, and she's a politician that she knows, she has been approving our budget for $1.1 billion every year for the city of Hamilton, and she, she put a so zero? She, so she failed to put that right there. Not only that. So you're, what you're saying is she should have put in a campaign loss. Correct. She should have a deficit. And in the second page, the important part here is that she has my surplus deficit of the Section 79 okay. is zero, and she signed it. Here she says the her signature. What is worth? Is somebody prepared for she her? She signed this March 29th of 2007. That is correct. And I also looked because I was thinking if this document can prescribe or not. But the act itself tells me that I have one year, once it become of the knowledge of the informant, to present this case to the provincial office, office in, the, in the courthouse. And that's what I'm doing. Using the section 23 of the provincial office. Yeah. Okay, so so you're saying she should have declared a campaign deficit. That is correct. And she did not do that. She did not do that. And filing a document that is incorrect is a violation of the act itself. She has 45 days to file this document. It's not something that she can do in one day only. She has 45 days. She can have many advisors, as many as she wants, to do it. And she filed an incorrect document. I believe that she acted arrogantly. I believe that she was careless regarding the duties of a candidate of the muni uh, according to the Municipal Election Act. That's what I believe. And I'm and I'm what I will do once uh, we have the first appearance is I will seek from the judge to the maximum penalty in this case. And she faced a penalty of this, a monetary penalty up to five thousand dollars. She faced also the forfeit of her position as a city councillor, even if she wins in this election, she can be forfeit from her position. And the prohibition or banning her for running the next municipal election as well. So that's something that the judge will have to decide at the end. Okay, you're running. Uh, you're running against her. That's correct. In, in uh, this in the election. Same ward, yes. Okay. Um, so for the constituents of the ward, what if they just look at this and say, okay, so she she should have uh, recorded a deficit. Uh, it's not a it's not a big deal. Is this is this just political on your part to uh, to to uh, to embarrass her? Actually, no. Actually, I'm really seeking justice in this case, and I will be on to the last consequences. Even if I win or if I don't win, I will do it until the end. Why? It seems like it. It seems like it's more of a uh, rudimentary uh, clerical error than 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 she caught in any kind of big uh, big breach of ethics. Why why are you raising such attention to this? Look, if you sign a document where you have the surplus or the deficit and you put zero on it, okay, and you have been the person that has been uh, approving the budget at city council for too long, 
Okay? $1.1 billion in budget sometimes. Do you believe that this person really deserves to be a city councilor? My objective here, and I will tell you, I am a person that I obey the law. And I believe that everybody should obey the law in the same way. Doesn't matter if it's me or it's her or it's anybody or any of the other councillors. <coughs> you should be filing that document correctly. It's what the law says. I'm not inventing this. It's there. Why she didn't do it? That's not, that's not in this case, it's not why I'm doing it. It's, she breaks the law and she should pay for it. And that's what I'm thinking. Have you consulted with a lawyer or any yes. type of expert? I actually have a panel of experts that I consulted with three lawyers. One in Toronto, another one with a very good friend of mine, who finished his PhD in Cornell, and uh, I consulted with all of them. Have you brought this to her attention? Actually, yes, I copied it. And, and has she replied to you? No, she didn't reply to me. Actually, I have to prepare the full disclosure at the first appearance in court that will be held on on the uh, 20th of October. And and you think that this is an indication that th that she is not an effective council member? I agree. She's totally incapable to be a, a city councillor at this time. I don't know. Probably in the past she was a good councillor. At this moment, I'm looking at the future and the future generation of Hamiltonian. I don't think that she's the person suitable for this job, no more. And uh, Jose, what do you do uh, for a living? I am an electrician. Electrician? I'm a full-time electrician. Okay. I took my half of my day off. And are you running for the first time? Yeah, I'm running for the first time. Okay, in that war? In that war. And how old are you? I'm 44. 44. Yes. Okay. Anything else you want to say about this? No. Actually, that's, uh, basically that's what it is. Do they have any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Okay. You got everything? All right. All right. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. All right. Thank Excellent. you. Thank okay. you, guys. Okay. Take care, eh? Bye now.